you know as i was just describing this is not the first uh, bear phase that you are witnessing in your career you've seen so many of them from the 2008 grow global financial crash to uh, the tech bust in 2000 and even before that where would you rank this period in the scheme of uh, the great uh, problem patches that you've had to negotiate in the stock markets over the last many decades well this is relatively mild uh, when uh, you look at it from the perspective of history um, you must remember we were dealing in the markets in brazil when inflation was two thousand percent and Argentina and places like that. And of course, uh, history in India also was uh, very checkered in those areas. And of course, you had the Asian financial crisis, which is very, very severe. So I would say this uh, downturn is relatively mild, at least at this stage. Um, and we can uh, pretty much handle it. The caveat in your, in your answer is at least at this stage. Uh, uh, the fear is that it might be looking mild now, but the way the central banks are acting, it might get out of control very easily next year. Uh, how, what would you say is the probability of that? Well, I think the good probability of a higher interest rate is still there. Um, the Fed in America, which, you know, the Fed really leads the world in terms of uh, interest rate hikes, with probably the exception of China. Uh, but if you look at the Fed and their desire to tame inflation, which is now running the CPI, running at about 8%. Um, their playbook says if you want to tame inflation, interest rates have got to be higher than 8%. So that means they're going to go to 9%. So when people talk about, you know, oh, three quarter percent is such a big uh, problem. No, no, this is relatively minor. The rates will go much, much higher if, of course, the big if, if the CPI stays at this level. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.